Let's talk about the Google Home Mini and how to set it up with TalkBack. Wait, what about me? Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible, and as I mentioned in my Google Home Mini unboxing video, linked in the YouTube card and in the description, after years of using three different Echo Dots, me and Pablo decided to buy two Google Home Minis, a black one and a white one. And I think that any home assistant is a really great accessibility tool, whether you're blind or sighted. Remember that accessibility isn't just for blind people and isn't just for people who are, quote, disabled. It's just so much easier to talk to them and have them do all the work. We know a lot about Alexa and I still need to do a lot more videos on her, but we wanted to try something new. So first I wanted to describe them for people who can't see pictures or can't see the video. And so here is the chalk version. And this is the one that I'm going to be using. And it's about the size of a donut, maybe a little bit bigger, um, except without the hole, of course. If you want to be technical, it's 1.6 inches tall and 3.9 inches in diameter. And on the top half, it has like this gray fabric that um, holds the speaker on the top. And when it's plugged in, it has four indicator lights to tell you if um, it hears you saying the keywords or when you're changing the volume or when you touch it or when you play and pause or when it's talking to you. And on the bottom half around it is um, plastic and it's white and around the back is the micro USB port and the mic on and off switch. And on the very bottom where it rests on the table is a vibrant orange and it's actually silicon so this helps it from sliding across the table. And somewhere hidden on this silicon part is the reset button. I think I've mentioned it before, but I really love how Google has it so that when you move the mic switch, it announces what you've done. So it'll say the mic is off or it's back on. Also by default, the lights come on when it hears you say OK or H-E-Y Google. And those lights are supposed to tell you that it's listening to you, but when you're blind, or even when you're sighted, you're not always looking at it, you can change the settings on the app to make a little pring sound when it hears that phrase. This one is the charcoal version, which almost looks black, but it's a really very dark gray, and the fabric part is dark gray, and then the plastic part around it is slightly glossier, a little bit lighter gray, and that bottom part, that silicon rubbery part, is the same vibrant orange. But everything else is the same with the layout and the shape and everything. So with Google Home, you can do a lot of the same things that Echo can do, like time and weather, timers, snooze, and all that stuff. You guys probably already know a lot of those, so here are some different examples. Remember that I put my passport in the top drawer. Okay, I'll remember that you said I put my passport in the top drawer. Hey, well, where's my passport? I remember you told me I put my passport in the top drawer. I love that one because I'm always losing things. Hey, well, where's my phone? I found a few phones. The first listed as a Pixel 2 XL. Should I ring it? No. How about the Nexus 6P? Okay, no, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. No problem. It's canceled. All right, guys. Heads or tails? Okay, I pick tails. Flip a coin. All right. You got tails. Yes! It's the simple things in life, guys. What is the square root of 622? Square root 622 is approximately 24.94. Where's the closest Best Buy? The address for Best Buy is... What time does Walgreens close? Walgreens at closes at 9 p.m. 
I'm going to go into more in depth of what you can and can't do with a Google Home Mini and also the Google Home Mini versus A-L-E-X-A. I have everything to do with Google Home in a playlist. So let's go ahead and talk about how we can set it up with TalkBack. So I'm just going to plug it in. And some lights come on. So while it's thinking, I'm going to go ahead and install. Oh. There we go. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So I will go ahead and install it. So Play Store. I will go to the Play Store. Action. Play Store. Voice search button. And let's look Double tap Home. to activate. Google Home. Play Store. And Clear button. First Double one. tap. App trailer for screenshot. Screenshot three. Screenshot. Screenshot six. Install button out of list. Double tap on install. While the app is installing on my phone, I wanted to mention that with the wire at the top at 12 o'clock, if you tap on the left side of the Google Home, it will reduce the volume and it will beep. And it also, if you tap on the right side, it will raise the volume. Also, you can long press it to play or pause. Once you have the app installed, we can hit open, open button. Del more options button see welcome home your content and devices all in one place get started button choose account use this account with the google home app in list eight not checked carry morales carry dot live accessible at gmail.com so let me go ahead and set up the account once you choose an account it's going to ask you for your location location access is needed help button next button so you're going to press next Double Allow home to access this device's locate allow button. So I'm gonna go deny ahead and allow button. Hit allow. More options button. Double tap looking for devices. And so it's going to look for the device. Set up device. More Google Home. Would you like to set up this device? Skip button. Yes button. I'm gonna hit yes. Double connecting to Google Home Mini. Da -da -da. Connected. Set up Google Home 5017. Go. Did you hear the sound? This lets you know you're connected to the right Google Home Mini. Yes, I did hear Retry the sound. Retry button. Yes button. Hit yes. Help improve Google Home automatic. No thanks. Yes, I'm in button. Sure, Double why not? So what is it doing now? Where is this device? Choose a create new. Not checked. Attic. Not checked backyard. Not checked basement. Not checked bathroom. Not checked bedroom. Let's just go with bedroom Double tap. for now. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but we'll say it's bedroom. Next button out of list. Next. And Custom then. room name. Enter a name for this room. Bedroom. Edit box. Cust continue I will button. Say bedroom and Double continue. tap to activate. Connect to Wi-Fi. Choose not checked magic. Not okay. checked Let black me go pineapple ahead and 2.4 GMB. The wi -Fi. So after you set up the Wi-Fi, before using your this. Google Assistant, here are a few things to know before using your Google Home Mini. Google Partners, Google Partners are businesses that have a commercial relationship with okay. services in your privacy. Guests in your learn more. Next, well, let's just go next. Double tap. Teach your assistant to recognize your voice. Voice Match helps your Google Assistant identify your voice on your assistant devices and tell you apart from others. Why set up voice match? No thanks button. I agree button. Okay, Double let's tap just agree. to activate. Your assistant can already recognize your voice. It looks like you've already set up voice match with your Google Assistant on another device. These Only previous my phone. recordings can results voice match. Learn more. No thanks button. Double tap to activate. Let's go ahead. Just a sec. Choose your assistant's voice. Choose your assist. Choose the voice your assistant oh, will use can to talk to you. Different voices. Voice one. Enlist two items. Play sample. Email. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant here to help you throughout your day. So that's one. Google Assistant logo. Out of. Choose your assistant's voice. Choose the voice your voice one. In play sample. Voice two. Play sample. Double. For the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. 
If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. So now I guess I Oops, scroll down. Voice one, play Sam. Voice click next button. Place next button out of click list. Click on next. The Google Home Mini setup. Enter your address. Your address helps with services like traffic and local weather. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna enter my address. So now it's going to ask you if you want to add any music services like YouTube Music or Google Play Music or Spotify or any of these things, but I'm going to do that later. Stay in the know. Stay up to date on the latest features, services, and offers from Chromecast. Plus receive survey invites to help improve Google products in your home. Email will be sent to carry.s.yana. No thanks button. Okay, Double no, tap I to don't activate. Want... I do not want any more emails, so I'm gonna say no thanks. All done. Here's a review of what you have optional in okay, list so seven items. Done. done. Button out of list. Home. More options button. All right. Double tap. So that's it for this one. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up below and hit that subscribe button and the bell if you want to see our latest videos on tips and tricks and how to live life more accessible. Thanks for watching everyone, see you guys in the next one.